Roadmap 5.0 is a significant upgrade filled with many new developments. In this video, we'll simply give an overview of the main new features. Let's start by double-clicking on the desktop icon. In the Run Options window, Bookmap allows you to record market data and orders separately or share them together or separately as well. Let's choose a Live Data option and click OK. Once opened, you'll notice immediately the design style is completely new and modern, best fitted for Windows 10. The user interface is also updated to facilitate navigation and clarify the output display with higher contrast ratios. You'll also notice the bookmap window is now consolidated. The global window drop-down choices of File, Settings, and Help are included in the chart window. Note the instruments are now tabbed within the main window. This makes it easier to switch back and forth between the various trading instruments. To add a new instrument, click the plus button or use the keyboard shortcut Control T. Then input the new instrument and click OK. You can also close a tab with Control W or reopen the last closed tab with Control Shift T. If the number of instruments is too large and doesn't fit within the window, Use the arrow button on the right-hand side to toggle between instruments. If desired, you can detach instruments from the main window. Simply double-click on the tab or left-click, hold and drag and drop the tab in another area. To reattach the chart, simply close the window and it will appear back in the tabbed main window. To unsubscribe from a detached instrument, right-click on the toolbar and select Unsubscribe. This menu has many new options worth exploring. Recall you can create and save your workspaces under the File menu drop-down. Let's close the live session and switch to replay mode. We'll open Bookmap again Choose Replay Data. There are many enhancements that allow you to easily jump forwards or backwards in the timeline without restrictions. Once in replay mode, you'll notice the blue playback line and the light gray file loading line. Hover over the playback line and the playback controls are displayed. Now you can click on the timeline to easily jump back and forth in time. You can decide which file bookmap replay should automatically load. If you normally replay your data after your trading session, then under Settings, Startup Action, select Load Last Used File. Bookmap replay will automatically load the trading session you've just recorded, including your orders if you choose so. You can also have choices to select Load Last Replayed File or None. In the Bookmap Heat Map, there are new enhanced heat map contrast features. Click on the Contrast Configurations button. Notice the new slider More Distinguishable Large Size Highlight. It controls the range of gray shade assigned to price levels with relatively larger size of pending orders. To make price levels more distinct, Use the higher end of this new slider in combination with the brightness slider. This can help traders put more emphasis and focus on more liquid levels in the order book and better personalized book map to their needs. If you right click on the price ladder, you'll notice multiple settings for centering the price action within the book map chart window. If you click settings, you also have the manual option to set exactly when you want the chart price to recenter, you can double click on the price axis to recenter it at any time according to your settings. You can also change the hue of the heat map under settings, color settings in the heat map drop down. Now you also have the ability for unlimited zoom in in Bookmap 5.0. To access it, click on the move tool left click hold and drag back in time to an area of interest. 
Then use your center mouse scroll wheel to zoom in without limitation so you can study exactly what unfolded in the marketplace. Check the timeline below to verify the unlimited zoom. For quants, this is useful when studying trading activity down to the micro or even nanosecond resolution. One of the major updates in this release is the traded volume dots. There are many new volume configuration studies in Bookmap 5.0. Let's click on the Studies Configuration tool and click on the Volume Dots button. Under Volume Dots Drawing Type, you'll notice the new options for Gradient, Solid, and Pie Display. Underneath, you'll see new settings for Volume Dot Clustering of None, Smart, By Time, and By Volume. These new options are extremely powerful tools for pinpointing pertinent volume data to give additional insight at specific areas of interest. You can now display volume traded by a specific time, volume, or by a smart algo that positions the dots based on weighted averages of the trade size and execution time. In all modes, the area of the volume dots is proportional to the traded volume they represent. None is the same mode from the previous bookmap version. SMART is a proprietary clustering algorithm developed by Bookmap. It aggregates traded volume in a manner that reduces the number of overlapping dots and shows you exactly where the volume took place, both in weighted time and weighted price. You can change the slider and select the strength of the aggregation size of the dots. In the leftmost position, it's similar to the none or original mode. In the rightmost position, it aggregates all the volume into a single dot, which size and location represents the volume, time, and price of the visible time period on the chart. Volume by time lets you define the time you wish to view the dots. For example, if you select 10 seconds, you will see the dots displayed every 10 seconds. The size and location of the dots will represent the volume and VWAP during the corresponding periods. Clustering by volume enables you to see a dot when a specific volume threshold is met. For example, if you input 1000, then a dot will be displayed when traded volume equals 1000 contracts. Therefore, the size of the dots in most cases will be equal unless it contains a single large trade but the frequency of the dots displayed will change depending on the market activity. Click on the Volume Bars button and you'll notice many of the same new settings as the volume dots. You can decide whether to apply the same or different aggregation algorithms from the volume dots to the volume bars. Another new feature is Price Alerts. You can now add price alerts with a Custom Notes column. Simply right-click in a column, select Insert a New Column, then right-click again to change the column to select Custom Notes as the data type. Left-click to add a new custom note at that price level. Click on the Notifications tab to set an alert on the desired price. You can set the alert with an offset of pips as well. On the main toolbar, you'll notice the Screenshot tool has a new icon. This tool is now enhanced so you can post a screenshot directly to your Twitter and or Facebook account, as well as save the screenshot to your Bookmap screenshot user folder on your local drive. If you want to avoid the sharing window to display again, just click the desired screenshot method and check mark Remember My Choice. Therefore, you can post with just one click. To reset it back again, you need to right click on the sharing button or left click on it and hold a bit longer for the option to display. In general, Bookmap 5.0 is much lighter and faster than before, and there is no limitation to the amount of market data you can record and display. As you can see, Bookmap 5.0 is a significant upgrade with several new features and functionality directly requested from our users please play around with some of these features to uncover other details and how they can help you within your trading methodologies. Don't hesitate to share with us your comments on this new release as well as any suggestions for future updates.